You have the poop. The poop is here. And then the poop disappears. So today we're gonna make some poop catchers. So we had a, we had a system and it didn't work, but I think this is gonna be better. Uh, oh, we got some visitors. Look at these little bunnies here. So we're gonna start out with some litter pans. It's corrugated sheet metal. So we show you that now. Okay, so we're gonna make our poop catcher. This is what we're using. It's just extra large litter box. So it measures uh it's 16 inches wide this way, it's 18 inches long, and it's five inches deep. Uh you don't have to use these, you can use whatever, but the main thing is you don't want them real deep. Five, six inches is plenty. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take a drill. It's like a quarter inch bit. So you don't wanna use a tiny, tiny drill bit because then it gets clogged. And then you don't want a drill bit that's too big because then it'll uh, defeat the purpose. Now, I've also, cut some wood which we're basically we'll screw into the box and that's just going to keep us off the ground so I'm going to drill a lot of holes no particular place That's what you're going to be looking like. All right, so now you just throw your wood in there, put your couple screws in it. Now that's gonna keep us off the ground. Okay, you see we got our pan here. Now, here's the angle. Well, maybe it's not a good angle, but you want your pan to come out past this edge, and now you want this whole pan to be covered. Now, <clears throat> our tan is gonna hook to the back. So all I'm doing is taking my tape and looking at where we're going to come into the box so that's 22 inches i'm going to cut them at 23 just to be sure that'll give me a little play if i want to bring this box out another inch or so so 23 inches is going to be our cut length and by the way we're roughly at 18 inches off the ground to the bottom of the cage so this is our corrugated tan we're using you see it's got the the peaks and the valleys we like using that better than some of this other stuff so our cut length is 23 that's just what's going to work for us you have to do your own measurement on where you're at These cutters, just a DeWalt 10 snip, uh, cost us $45. Uh, 
That's probably one of the best tool attachments we have. Okay, so these panels, they're roughly just say two foot. It's actually gonna measure 25 inches, but because of the lip, you might well say it's a two foot. Now, we have six foot pins. You would think you would need only three. And that's what I like about this corrugated pin. You wrap it over, you can adjust it to any length you need. When we put three together, There's our six foot right there. So you don't want to have it exactly six foot. Have it overhanging just a little bit. That way the whole cage, the outside of the cage is covered off of If you can, try to use these small little pan heads. And we want to drill from the top down, not the bottom up. Because if not, this would be hanging out and it could catch some of the poop and whatnot. give you a, a view of what we're going to actually do because it's going to be hard i'm not going to do a video putting that on the back side basically this is going to go to the cage underneath we just take a zip tie and you'll zip tie it to the very back of this wire cage and you don't want to get it just super tight you just want to make sure it's going to move it so that's going to be like a hinge on the back So it's been a couple days since we installed these. <clears throat> Looks like everything's working like it should. I don't know if you can get a good look. There's nothing hanging or staying on the tin. Or if it is, it's very, very little. Sound like we got a dispute back here behind me. Six nest boxes and they all want to use the same one. So as always, guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, any attaboys, criticisms, concerns, maybe a better way. Maybe you have a better way, but this this is what it's been working for us. So I appreciate you watching. See you next time.